Hi, I'm Erin. I go by Sweet Peach Parfait on Instagram, and I was the featured artist of the Fargo 12 skateboard inspired art show. So, I am a tattoo artist in town. Uh, that's why all of my things, like every art that you see of mine, uh, will have a thick black outline, and it's just because I learned those foundations uh, through tattooing. Um, so, most of my inspiration and in color comes from that. I like to make really bold outlines. Uh, I like to use really bright colors. I really took a lot of inspiration from old comic books. My inspirations were definitely just old, like Archie comics, uh, just old clippings of comics that I had in this big box um, that we ended up using for the Create a Comic Workshop. The Create a Comic Workshop was really cool because I went in thinking that it was going to be a majority younger kids and it ended up being a almost 50-50 mix of like adults and little kids and everybody whenever I talked would just like immediately look to me they were like what are we doing next? Yeah I had just this image in my head uh, me and Ariel clear coated the boards um, I had them come in and put down a base color and then I was like Anything you need, I'm here, but I want you guys to take complete creative control, just like I was given. And so much cool art came out of it, man. Like they made, some of them clipped up comics and made collages. Some of them made stories out of cut up comics. We had a, a little man that just sat down. I gave him a pen and paper and he was drawing Spider-Man from memory. Do you know how long, how many years of art school I had to pay for that? <laughs> like to be able to just, and he's just over there blowing my mind. It was awesome. When Ariel kind of approached me, this isn't really my forte. I kind of had to get out of my comfort zone. I've never been in the skateboard community. I really had to change what I was used to making in designs to kind of match the skateboard's shape, which was cool. The first thing I designed was the uh, characters with the sunglasses on the one board. And it was cool because I just had to make it long. I was watching a lot of like cool zoom in videos and sketching when I was watching them, just letting creativity kind of flow. So me and Ariel were trying to figure out what to do about the shirts. I make the Cornfest shirts, and they were all these like really strange comics. Um, she's like, I want some kind of comic shirt. And I was like, hell yeah. So I ended up drawing the girl face, uh, hoping that that was comic enough. And she's like, yes, but we need something to kind of contrast that. Like we have to, have, we're gonna have her and then we need one other thing. So I drew up a few different sketches. One of them ended up being just a hot dog with Fargo as like mustard. Um, and I was like, wait, 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 I can do better with this. And I put like a goofy face on it and she's like, this is the one. <laughs> um, and I actually drew him skating and Ariel saw it and she's like, he's not shredding hard enough. He needs to be doing a kick flip. So I had to change up his feet. <laughs> it was spectacular, it was such a cooperative thing. When Ariel came to me and she's like, I wanna make this comic book for Fargo, I really took that to heart. So I would start with the logo first. And I was like, we have to make Fargo the main part of whatever art this is. So for the board, it has that explosion around it. Like I really wanted to make that the focal point. And the hot dog t-shirt that's right on the breast pocket, that's the first thing you see when you see somebody. That was really important to me. Yeah, the windows were a challenge. I actually was projecting a picture backwards. I wanted to make sure that from the outside, people driving down Lincoln Highway saw something attention grabbing and wanted to check it out. And I feel like when we were seeing people walk past us on the street, even uh, days before the art show, they would stop and be like, what is this? Ariel really just told me what she needed it to say and let me kind of do my own things. But yeah, working with a business is really intimidating, especially when you don't know how well your art will be taken or interpreted or if it'll be liked at all. But it's really exciting. Once we got to the final product, I feel like people were way into it, which is everything I could have dreamed of. Everybody was so supportive. Everybody was so happy to help. I think everybody had a wonderful time. <laughs> Feels good, man. <laughs>
Daddy of Mystery. I love the little people, 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 people. I would like very much to know reality. I think it can be a mistake, take, take, take. But what I really love is intimacy, intimacy, intimacy. How you created each other's pleasure. It's one of the pleasures of being a woman, woman, woman. What took you so long? I'll give you your drink if you tell me your name. How was it down by the pool? Very long. Ah, oh, oh. I hope you I don't mind. Burning, burning, burning. I'm gonna tell you something straight off the motherfucking press. I ain't coming for no food, no food.